Welcome back to the show. And what an exciting old time we've had. We've had the winter solstice uh, in the southern hemisphere, and the northern uh, in the northern hemisphere we've had um, the summer solstice. So winter solstice, southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere. You know that's the summer solstice. So uh, when we sort of look at it from the southern hemisphere perspective, we're really dealing with that bringing of the light. <laughs> so. That's why the candle's there. Uh, so it's, um, some people have sort of said to me this week, so Jacqueline, is it going to get any better? Cause I thought the drama was last year. And I sort of I sort of said to them, well, it wasn't me that was telling you the drama was only last year. <laughs> um, and if we look at the winter solstice in the Southern Hemisphere for this year, we're really looking at it being the largest hump day uh, of the year. So instead of, th- sort of think of, the, the winter solstice as um, Wednesday of the year. It's just a very long Wednesday. It's a very enduring Wednesday. Uh, so when we sort of look at this year and, and, you know, is it going to get better? Well, I think the thing is that you can feel better in yourself regardless of whatever's going on outside and around in your world uh, if you are able to yes have compassion for others and all that sort of thing but but still going back into yourself so when we look at the themes of the winter solstice we're really dealing with that sense of um sitting quietly sitting within and doing a lot of going within work where you reflect on the year so far you reflect on um you know what has been uh you know the friendships relationships acquaintances you've you've built uh, where that's taken you to, and then to really reflect on where you are now, and then to think about where you would like this to go next, where you would like um, the rest of the year to be. And um, if you sort of think of it as a midwinter New Year's resolution, <laughs> uh, the things you're wanting to change, the things you're wanting to keep, uh, the things you're wanting to improve upon, uh, that's a way of looking at this time of year for the Southern Hemisphere people. For the Northern Hemisphere, of course, it's the summer solstice. So it's all that exciting abundance. It's summer. Um, It should be exciting. There should be good things going on out there for you. Um, And it's a very active time of the year. It's where we we bring every, all of our, all of our hard work comes to fruit and, you know, we can, we can make use of that and um, really celebrate the harvest or um, you know, the fruits of our labour, if we might call them. So it's a very interesting thing when you look at it in a global perspective as to what's going on around the different parts of the world and our different seasons and also our different um, astrological movements that are going on. Um, and when I look at the year of the rooster, it's sort of a very dramatic bird um, this year. It's, it's a bit unlike the other roosters. Um, it's a bit unlike Benjamin Franklin, who was a wood rooster. It's definitely a fire rooster. And so it's really important to be, I guess, um, waving the dra- drama by. So letting it pass you by. No, 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 not a problem. Take your, take my turn. It's okay on some things, but not everything. And um, <laughs> and letting, letting that just sort of make its way through and just keeping the steady path. Use this year as a, a way of observing how you respond to drama um, and whether you're responding or reacting. It's just an interesting way of looking at that. So uh, just things to look at for this year. So some people can be feeling really overwhelmed with the feelings of other people. And when we're dealing with empathy particularly, um, empathy is a very important thing, but having empathy is different to being empathic. Having empathy is, I'm really sorry for how you're feeling. Um, and, and to be able to relate to that or to hold the space for that person. Whereas being empathic is you actually feel um, what's going on for someone who might simply brush past you in a supermarket. Um, <laughs> and I can tell you that's a lot of fun not. Um, there are times when it's rather interesting and times where it's actually quite overwhelming. And so um, if you're feeling overwhelmed, either with your gifts or with the energy at this time, it's just really good to be able to go back and walk that back and say, all right, well, is this coming to me 
through me or from me? You know, do I need to sit with this as a feeling I'm actually having and generated myself? Uh, or is this something I need to sit at, sit with and sort of look at uh, and say, all right, well, I can see that that's coming from this person or I can see that that's the energy that's out there right now. So just some things to look at. Um, when you get those feelings from other people, it's just really handy to um, stop, take a deep breath and maybe send healing and then send them on their way. Uh, maybe reach out to that person if it's appropriately done um, and be able to empathise with them. But um, there's a very big difference between empathising with someone and taking it all on board, which is that other extreme. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's really important to sort of find your own personal rhythm with this as to how far into that do you need to go with that person. Uh, so that's just my little intro for today. Now we've got a caller on the line. We have actually got Hannah from Fort Myers, Florida. Are you there, Hannah? I think Hannah's Hannah's gone. She, she's gone for a walk. Hannah has. We, we'll hopefully get her back again. Uh, we'll find her somewhere in there. <laughs> in the meantime, talking about finding people, <laughs> it is it is that kind of energy with the um, winter solstice, particularly where. Uh, people can go missing and I actually found it hilarious because I was on another radio show earlier this week just a couple of days ago with the wonderful Raul Estevez who um, is a wonderful guy uh, and co-author of the book Journey of a Lightworker which I'm also one of the co-authors in and um, at the start of his show uh, he introduced me and we, we chatted briefly and then he said so tell me about I think I think he said tell me about the winter solstice so there was some kind of in, in initial discussion and all of a sudden, pop, <laughs> off he went. <laughs> we got him back again, of course, once I talked about the winter solstice and about how um, we can literally go a bit um, a bit blank and then arrive again. Uh, so it's just uh, one of the things of today and of this time is to just be very patient, particularly uh, people can feel a bit eclipsed at the moment. Uh, and, and so that can actually mean that you get electronic um, dis, you know, interruptions, internet interruptions, phone interruption, so try and uh, be very, um, I guess, patient with that. And have we got you there, Hannah? Hello, Hannah. Not hearing Hannah. <laughs> and of course, this is about what live radio is all about, I guess. Um, so hopefully Hannah's doing well. What I might say is uh, for Hannah at this point in time, there's a lot of shifts going on around you that I am feeling. And um, it takes a lot of bravery and courage uh, at the moment to deal with, um, you know, uh, what's going on out there uh, with people. And, and I feel as if you can be a bit uh, affected by other people being highly reactive at the moment is how I will put this. So it's something you may be noticing uh, in others around you or others when, when you're out places and you're seeing others interacting. Um, what this is mirroring back for you is, in a way, having to choose carefully, I guess, where you're putting your energy and where you're putting your thoughts uh, and whether it is really what's going to help you in that moment or that instance. When I look at the work front for you, um, it can be easy to be feeling a bit discordant and confused about direction at the moment and about uh, whether it's the right opportunity for you and to be able to deal with, I guess, the disappointment and in some ways frustration uh, to do with how other people are acting in the workplace particularly. So uh, that's just something that uh, I wanted to share with you. Uh, try to be more patient at this point in time to do with the work front and to do with how money situations can improve for you. So that's just the message I've got for you, Hannah. If you're um, wanting to reach out further to me, Hannah, you can do so on Facebook. Just type in Soul Star Radio and you'll find me there. Uh, you can send a message or a comment on a post um, that I'll put up later today. And in the meantime, I'm going to send you lots of healing, love and light. And um, harmony is how I will put that as well uh, around the family and other people. So we've got another caller on the line. We've got Lorraine in Pensacola, Florida. Are you there, Lorraine? Hello. Hello, Lorraine. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? 
I'm very good, darling. I can help you uh, with doing a reading if you would like. Uh, what I generally start with is a date of birth, uh, and then that is like the key to the door that lets me in for you if you would like. Huh? If I can get your date of birth, I can do a reading for you. My date of birth is 331 of 93. Brilliant. Not a worry. So what I really get with your energy pretty well straight away is I do feel that it's like you can feel like you're banging your head against the wall at the moment is how I would put some of this. Um, and it's really important to um, be dealing with things one by one at the moment rather than trying to rush to everything at the moment because it feels as if there's a lot of... Um, uh, you know a lot going on and a lot that you can make really good outcomes out of but it's going to really require you uh, to take a bit of a different tack to this and a bit of a different approach so rather than trying to do the same old things um, to get a different result it's really important to change some of the approaches that you're using um, was there a question you also wanted to use uh, or ask today I can't <coughs> I can't really hear you. Could you repeat that? Yeah, was there was there a question you wanted to ask today? If you're reading. Yeah, um, I was going to ask if, um, if there's anything from my higher self that uh, maybe it wants me to know because it's been like jumping out at me like throughout my whole life, like ever since I was really young. Yep. So. I feel at the moment, when, when I go to talking about needing to take a different approach at the moment, uh, like you may be banging your head against a wall and whether that's in the work environment specifically at the moment, uh, that's one aspect of, of the message that I've got for you. When I look at your higher self, and I guess we'd call it your spiritual development, your spiritual growth and some more of the spiritual questions you might have there, uh, what I really feel is that um, there are times that they're trying to get the message through, uh, but you're very much doubting uh, this, and it's like you can be a bit afraid to have the faith in uh, the message that you're getting or the direction that you're being drawn to take or go down. Uh, and what I get with there is a really light lavender colour with you. Uh, so when, when you think of a very light purple, and I do feel there's a lot of transformation going on with you at the moment. Um, on much more of an emotional level, which is actually going to free up some of these blocks to helping you to be able to hear and follow through uh, on the messages that you're getting and um, how you want to respond to those and deal with them uh, to get more out of the situation for yourself as well. Uh, I do feel as if uh, dreams would be something across different points in your life that can be quite powerful. Uh, and I do feel as well here with you that it's just that at the moment you need to be uh, stepping back from uh, from the approach you've been using um, and this will be to do with something in your life at the moment but I do feel like that's around the work area. Um, it's like you need to be uh, more going with the flow in that particular area at the moment with how you may be approaching things uh, and rather than going through the same repetition is what I would put it here as, um, it's going to be really important to look at this in a, in a more flexible way, if that makes sense to you. Um, I used to travel like for like eight years and um, I recently had to settle down because uh, I have a daughter. So um, what... What do you think that I should do as far as that goes? Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble hearing you. It's what, what to do regards... Hold on. I'm going to try to turn on my computer because I can't hear you very well on the phone. So I'm going to put it on... Oh, I apologize. Right, so we might be there and um, we'll be able to 
um, hear me later today. So I'll get you to just stay on that phone rather than going to the computer. Um, because that, that'll make it actually a bit more difficult and there could be a lot of echo involved. Uh, so what I'll really, really do is I'm actually going to just do a bit of a card spread for you as well, as what I've already said. Um, and I'll give you information from that as well. You'll be able to listen back to the podcast on that and hear it a great deal uh, clearer later on uh, when you're listening to that podcast. So really at the moment, when we look at what to do with the family situation particularly, um, it, it's like you're really needing to work on the abundance side of things and to be looking at the practical steps you can take today uh, and every day that actually help lift the situation on an abundance sort of level, if that makes sense to you. Um, gratitude is going to be the most important thing for you, how you can express gratitude for the situations that you have um, for each moment. But when we look at the work situation itself okay. and how you're approaching that, you really need to be um, not trying the same old thing. So whatever the habit has been in the past or whatever the, um, the same uh, way of going about things has been in the past, it's going to be really important for you to change that tack. Uh, you will get to have the ability to have holidays and things like that, um, as well as being able to be comfortable in the home environment with your daughter. I do feel there's a lot of support around you um, from other family members, extended family particularly, uh, in that regard. And um, so that's going to be uh, what's going to help you the most when we're looking at that area. So just hang on in there this year. Um, a lot of change is going on, a lot of shift is going on with how you've been living, uh, but also how you will be living in the future. So, you know, I wish you the very best with that and hope that that helps you today and hope that you're able to listen back to the podcast on that and get uh, a lot from that. And once again, you can reach out to me um, either in a private message or on the comments field. Uh, when I post later today. In the meantime, we've got one lucky last caller, lucky number three, hopefully we can hear each other nicely. Uh, we've got Susie Tina in Seattle, Washington. Are you there, Susie? Yes, I'm here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, welcome to the show. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Was there a question you wanted to ask at all? Um, just had a question on, on love. You see me find anyone, anyone good, nice? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I just had a question about love. I was just wondering if you, if I'm going to meet anyone and meet anyone nice. Yeah, okay, so what I get from there is I do feel as if you are in between relationships at the moment and I do feel kind of, um, I feel like I've got an echo from the past there with someone and it's like, uh, whether you've been thinking of them recently, but it's like someone there, it's like every now and again you get an echo of that person, it's like you'll think back on that, that person. Um, and I do feel you've mostly let them go, but it's like it just keeps coming back once in a while. I do feel when, I, the, my reason for saying that is that that is very much an echo. It's not something that's coming into the future. When I'm looking at the future with you with the relationships, I do feel you're actually going to be um, really getting things back together, clearing out the cobwebs this year. It's like clearing out the clutter. And this can be emotional, but also it can be around the home. Um, but it's like you're clearing the way. And in a way, that's kind of a, um, a great way to get your energy in the right space again. Um, and I feel that that's where it's opening up to another relationship coming your way. Um, I do feel that with you, your understanding that love is about sharing rather than what can I get and, you know, I want someone to look after me. Um, it's really, you're coming from more of that aspect of I'm wanting to share with someone and we can share with each other uh, and support each other. So I do feel you've got that combination right and I do feel that you're opening the way at the moment for that to come back in. I really feel like this is about two months away um, before you're meeting someone that's actually going to be leading on the right direction to do with love, as in leading you towards, if if it's not them that's the love of your life for the future, um, it's that they're leading you directly to that path. But I would really see that it's in the next uh, three years 
that you're actually coming to a point of saying, right, I'm now in a committed relationship that I can relax into and we can be there for each other and this is going right through. Uh, so it's a very long-term relationship that ends up being, it's just that at this point in time, um, you know, we're still, as I said, clearing the clutter away, um, getting, getting the house in order as it were and um, creating the space for this um, long-term love to come into your life uh, rather than, I guess, um, you know, inviting the echo back in. So that's how I would uh, really put this for you. Um, I do feel that, you know, it, it's like as if to me as well, uh, when I'm looking at this, I really feel that the future love of your life really is someone who's very unlike uh, the types of people um, and the types of relationships that you've really been interested in in the past or people that have drawn your interest in the past. And I don't feel that you fall in love every day of the week at all. I do feel that you, um, you know, are quite selective and I think that that's not such a bad thing at all. Um, but I do feel that this person that, that we're coming to in the future is actually very different uh, to what you would have uh, had around you in the past, if that makes sense. So I hope that helps you, Susie. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Yeah. yeah, so I hope that helps you. Um, I do feel as well that there's a lot more um, of your spiritual side that's opening up over the next 18 months, and it's like you're going to get a lot clearer uh, with your instincts and your intuition over that period of time as well. So there's actually a lot of changes going on around you. Um, you know, in a variety of areas, not just one or two areas, if that makes sense. And I do feel that, um, you know, when this person comes into your life, this is really knowing that you're loved. It's not, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I really care about him, but <laughs> what does he feel about me? This is absolute certainty. It's, it's really, really clear. And this is a person who the, um, the exact sentence I've got is that, they see love as when you love someone, it's about not having to say you're sorry because you're doing your best to make sure you're never creating a situation that warrants it. So that's that's how I feel that they see love. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, if you do something wrong, you're straight out the door, uh, but it does mean that that's how they see love. So I hope that helps you and I wish you the very best there, Susie. Uh, with that, you can listen back to the podcast later uh, and you'll be able to hear that once again So, if you've missed anything uh, today. So I hope you've enjoyed those readings, people. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get to everyone today. Uh, we can only do so many calls uh, in a show and in a night. Um, so next week I'm going to be doing something rather exciting. Uh, I'm going to be coming to you live from... Raul Estevez's um, healing centre out in Ballarat. So I'm getting in the car, going for a drive, and I'll be taking you all with me. And um, when he and I get on air, we tend to do a lot of giggling. So um, I, I hope that you'll be able to laugh along with us, um, if not at us. I'm sure it'll be with us. Um, <laughs> so try to, uh, during this, this week, when you're sort of looking at, oh, how do I deal with the energy? How do I deal with that person? Uh, try to look at, all right, well, what am I doing? You know, what, what am I doing to uh, make my energy work in this situation? What am I doing to um, respond the best way I can? Uh, always bring it back to you, particularly over this next week, uh, because that's where the energy is really at. It's about you also, not just um, going on the introspection of, oh, I did that wrong. Uh, it's also, <laughs> okay, so what have I done right? And... How can I be kinder to myself? Uh, that's the important thing because when we sort of look at the spiritual development, people tend to go way over on this extreme or way over on that extreme. And it's either, um, you know, I'm the best thing since sliced bread uh, or I am bad, bad, very bad. Um, you know, it's just hang on a minute. Let's just get this back in perspective. Um, let's make sure that we don't create a blame game either with ourselves or others. Uh, and try to seek harmony, I think, is probably the easiest way of dealing with all of that is to use the word seek harmony. So as much as possible, I would suggest that 
that's a great way of, of dealing with the energy at the moment. Um, for those who are sort of having trouble with feeling blocked psychically over the next week, um, you know, that's where I would, if, you, if you've got the sea nearby, I'd get to the sea. If you've got the forest nearby, go and hug a tree, spend time out in nature and maybe not having to talk to people. Um, one of the key disciplines I give myself is every week I have half a day of absolutely not talking to anybody, even if I'm at home and everyone's at home and wants to ask me questions. Um, I just actually use that time to spend alone. Uh, I try to make it the whole day, but I do absolutely stick to half a day at the very least. And it's amazing how that can recharge your sense of joy, um, the energy you've got to say what it is you've got to say, uh, because when we're not having to speak, which is an action of the lungs and the heart, obviously the voice box, uh, but on an energy level, the lungs and the heart, uh, then you know, if, if we're not having to speak during that um, time, it re-energizes those areas. And if you sort of uh, think of people who feel all talked out, um, you know, and really exhausted to the point they can't even utter a word, it's like the words won't come up uh, because they don't have the breath to give to it. And that's when you know that you absolutely need that time out in a way uh, to reflect, to take time for yourself, to recharge the buttons um, and to get everything back in order for you uh, and to do a lot of self-healing through that process. So I really invite you to spend a bit of time this week uh, doing just that for yourself. It's amazingly clearing um, and I hope that that helps you with some ideas on, on that. Um, and if you're sort of, you know, feeling as if it's all just a bit too heavy, just remember, go out, stand under the sun, breathe the energy in. That's all I've got for today. I'll catch you next time on Soul Star Radio in Ballarat. Catch ya. See you next time on Soul Star Radio. In the meantime, tune into the lovely shows on the rest of this evening on A1R Radio. Bye.